How's it going? Good morning, everyone. So today, uh, I'm gonna put another hard drive into my computer because my other one's kind of freaking out and doing some weird things. And I have a lot of footage on there I don't want to lose. So let's get in here. This is my computer. Check it out. And two GTX 760s. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 4130 um, 3.8 gigahertz processor, an SSD, a hard drive, dish tray and stuff. And um, so I need to flip this fan around because I have it going out instead of in. It's supposed to go in and down and out. Those go up, that one goes that way, this goes out. So that'll probably help my computer stay cooler. So let's turn this around. Alright, so this is what that side the side looks like. Very nice. Let's take all these out real quick. One hard drive. One SSD. Super dusty. Get a lot cleaning up in there. Okay, clean. So to do a good cleaning job on a computer, you have to unplug a lot of things. It's, it's more, it's worth it to clean it when you're in here than have to come back. That's what I say. This is much easier not to have to come back. Take those off. Decide. Very good. All right, let's start getting into it. So we're gonna take the video cards out, pull them off, put screws to the side so you know where to find them. We're gonna use this little medicine lid. Be careful, don't touch any electrical areas. So you don't want to electric shock your computer. They have special type of gloves and stuff for this, so I don't know where mine are. And I'm not going to spend two hours looking for it and not be able to find it, so we're just going to stick with what we have. So pull the video card off. And beauty. Really, really, really dirty. So we're going to clean that. And then video card number two. Not as dirty. A little bit of a Alright, so the board looks pretty clean under. The CPU needs cleaned. And then some fans need wiped off. So now I'm going to take top, <clears throat> top fan off. Alright, got fan off. A little bit dirty. Not bad though. And next project. So if you're ever going to clean your CPU and uh, PC, you always want to get thermal paste. Because uh, thermal paste helps it when the metal on metal is not touching and keeps your CPU cooler. So I'm glad I found mine. So we're going to do that too. Get rid of excess wiring. If you have a modular power supply like I do, it helps a lot with work because you don't have to keep pushing them out of your way. Just get them done with and you're good. Next are fans. Uh, don't want to touch the board. That's your goal. And then next will be my RAM, which there's two release buttons, top and on the bottom. You push them at the same time. And you're, oh, don't do that. Your stick should come right out. I got four of them, so all four come out. They're all the exact same types because you always want to keep the same types of RAM all the same. Same speed, same megs, and everything. The same brand, all slots should be the same. Your computer will run at best performance that way. Okay, so I took this fan off right here. I unplugged the 12 pin back there. 
right there. Got the RAM out. Hard drives are out. Top fan off, like I said. Just need to wipe it out now. So we'll get that done. So I'm going to take this back fan off now. Because try and get my computer to stay cooler. Because it keeps overheating when I do videos and stuff. Alright, got the fan off. What a pain in the butt. Strip bolts suck. Yeah. Whenever you're screwing something into the computer, be careful. Don't strip it. Alright, now final thing. CPU. I don't screw that. So I'm going to do that. Now, these CPU bolts, I've tightened them too much and one of them broke off. So I just tell you guys to be careful and don't tighten them too much because they break. And that is my CPU fan. A little bit dirty, not bad. Has a little bit of dry spots, which is not good. That's probably why it keeps overheating. Alright, I got my CPU here and it is dirty. Nasty, nasty. So we're gonna clean it. So I just unscrew all these and just blow it out. Look how yummy that is. CPU dirty. Fan dirty. So let's get that clean. Alright, we got them both clean. So now we put it all back together. Okay, so I got it back together. And so now we're gonna do the thermal paste. That right there. So, let's do it. Okay, so when you guys do thermal paste, you want to make sure that you get like a pea size and make sure that it's super flat across it. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you. So you want it to look just like that. Perfectly across. As flat as you can get it. All the way across. Alright, got CPU on. Just always have to be careful when you put it on your CPU because you don't want to squish the two thermal paste or move it around or any. Just put it straight on and tighten it because you don't want it to have air pockets or anything. So yeah, let's work to get the rest of this done. So I'm going to put the black one on the back right here. And I'm going to put this one on top, but the right way this time. And then, this one kind of has, has a hard time working, so I think I'm going to leave it out for now. So, I'm going to do that. You guys enjoy this video, please give me a like, a thumbs up, or a share. It's just a test video, but it's been a lot of fun. And if you guys are ever curious on what, how to find which way the fan is going, it always has it on the one of the sides, like this one points which way it turns and which way the wind will, direction will go. Okay, I got the fan on. Good, good. good. It's looking better already. I'm happy with this redoing. It's going to help a lot with my computer. Which is what we want. So i got to get the RAM in right there. Four sticks. Make sure they're super tight. They all clicked. Make sure your RAM, it also goes certain, a certain way, so always make sure you're trying to put it in the right way, not try to shove it in, so you want to break your motherboard. So then next, we have to plug in the hard drives. Your SATA, G, six gigabytes per second. Uh, starts bottom to top. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you want to plug your hard drives in order so I'll go my SSD because that's running my Windows and I'll go to my normal hard drive that has all my information and I'll plug in the new hard drive on number 3 so you guys know so when I do my cords for these ones I like to color code them so I know which hard drives I'm working with so my first one's orange, second one white, third one blue it helps a lot this is the hard drive I'm putting in it's not the best one, not the fastest one but it is one terabyte, so it's big enough. I'll attach it to this, and then put it in here with all three of them. So we'll do that. All right, I got them in. Finally, beautiful, beautiful things. So computer's almost done. So now we gotta plug them in. So what did it say? It was orange first, and then blue is number two, and white is number three. Alright, got them all hooked up. 
last one, last fan, and then the video card. Hi, right, I got it all in. Last one is a video card. I'm gonna only put this one in, and I'm gonna spend time cleaning the other one a little bit later. Okay, it's in. Just have to screw it down. Got screws. Tighten your bolts. Make sure things are tight enough on the computer, but not super tight. But the tighter your bolts are, the less rattling you'll get, and the quieter your computer will be overall. And we're done. Pretty much. In conclusion, make sure everything's plugged in, everything's clean, make sure everything's tight, and your computer should run just fine. You know, I have to start it up and I have to redo all my things for my um, drivers, but that's easy peasy. Or the hard drive since I got a new one. I got to reposition all of them, but that's easy peasy. And it's nice and clean. Looks awesome in here. So we did a great job, guys. Thank you. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. Sticks come right out. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe.